One surprising aspect of practicing fitness after 50 is how it affects your endocrine system. That's the system of organs in your body that produce and regulates hormones in your bloodstream. Hormones are the chemical messengers that signal other vital organs when to activate or turn off their functions to keep your body running at optimum level. Just like a thermostat signals your heating and air conditioning system when to turn on and off, so does your body. If you're going through menopause, you feel how important it is to regulate your hormones every time you get a hot flash. So what can you do besides stripping and throwing a bucket of ice water on you? Hello my name is Suzanne from Functional Fitness on Public Television and I'm here to tell you about the one estrogen alternative your doctor didn't tell you. The pituitary gland in the brain produces growth hormone, GH, and the production is increased during aerobic exercise. This is vital for muscle tone and bone density and also helps strengthen your tendons, cartilage and ligaments which literally holds you together. So if you're having a mood swing that even chocolate can't fix and someone says, get it together, if you exercise, you can proudly claim, I'm being held together quite nicely, thank you. One surprising aspect of practicing fitness after 50 is how it affects your endocrine system. That's the system of organs in your body that produce and regulates hormones in your bloodstream. Hormones are the chemical messengers that signal other vital organs when to activate or turn off their functions to keep your body running at optimum level. Just like a thermostat signals your heating and air conditioning system when to turn on and off, so does your body. If you're going through menopause, you feel how important it is to regulate your hormones every time you get a hot flash. So what can you do besides stripping and throwing a bucket of ice water on you? Growth hormone also communicates fat deposits to be used as fuel instead of blood glucose which helps you to stay energized longer while exercising, which is also why exercise is vital for people who have diabetes and why it helps to keep your metabolism running smoothly during menopause. The pituitary gland in the brain produces growth hormone, GH, and the production is increased during aerobic exercise. This is vital for muscle tone and bone density and also helps strengthen your tendons, cartilage and ligaments which literally holds you together. So if you're having a mood swing that even chocolate can't fix and someone says, get it together, if you exercise, you can proudly claim, I'm being held together quite nicely, thank you. Here's another reason to exercise. Another hormone that helps to break down unwanted body fat is estrogen. It increases your metabolism, burns fat as fuel, increases both your libido and your mood. When you're healthy and strong, you feel good. Testosterone can remain in the bloodstream at elevated levels up to three hours after exercise. And in women it can also benefit the intensity of orgasms. And that's never a bad thing. Here's another reason to exercise. Another hormone that helps to break down unwanted body fat is estrogen. It increases your metabolism by burning fat as fuel, increases both your libido and your mood. The ovaries produce less of it as menopause is reached, but exercising can elevate its levels in the blood for up to four hours after exercising, so you feel sexier and happier. Now that's better than a Valium and has much better side effects than any antidepressant. The thyroid gland produces thyroxine, which again increases your metabolism in nearly all cells in your body. The increase induces a feeling of being more energetic, burns more calories, which promotes weight loss. You get about 30% more thyroxine in the blood during exercise and it remains for several hours afterwards. The longer and harder you exercise, the longer it flows through the blood, even at rest. You can literally be burning fat stores long after exercising. The adrena medulla produces epinephrine, adrenaline, whose primary purpose is to signal the heart to pump harder 
and it also directs blood flow to the muscles being worked using the stored fat in those muscles as fuel energy while this chemical is flowing through your bloodstream it also activates the breakdown of carbohydrates in the liver and the active muscles the longer the time and intensity of exercise the more epinephrine is released into the blood but more is not always better if you haven't exercised for a while it's best to start off with a beginner's functional fitness fat burning program and progress as tolerated to avoid injury the human body is an amazing biological machine that isn't programmed so much as it responds to inputs we decide to place upon it if you just sit and eat it responds by weakening fattening and sickening if you exercise and eat nutritious foods it strengthens tones and fights illness and disease you ultimately choose the way your body reacts to the lifestyle you live exercising on a regular schedule causes your body to react with chemical signals that strengthen cells burn fat deposits and increase blood flow to 